again, I think we should come back and awareness, um, self-awareness in terms um, in terms of fake news or uh, disseminations. Um, informations on social media as these days everything is actually goes very quickly with the social media Twitter and Instagram and we as um, as um, online citizens or netizen we tend to believe the social media quickly and um, of course there is um, an attempt in here that the government have to slightly take over all, on all of this matter because um, when we speak about a fake news, we speak about a legal issues in here. Um, if the more, if the more mis disinformation is being spread out, it means it's the more wrong issues is actually being spread out in the in the country as well. Especially when it comes to the political, so it is going to be a, a challenge. Obviously, um, I I would take a very good case study um, from Singapore that already leading um, um, for having the anti anti fake news law. Um, that I really believe that this could be implemented or at least could be adapted in different countries as well, uh, which is in my country, Indonesia, as, as we are all um, as one of the biggest internet users in the world. Um, so Singapore has recently, um, has recently had the anti-fake news, which, which is also able to have appeal from the individual and organizations that also have the uh, giving the opportunity and the power for the government to intervene and um, for the Facebook and all the internet service provider. So I think this is one of the case study that we could we could discuss more.